I'm going to use a combination of the multiband dynamics and the advanced limiter. The multiband dynamics gives you up to four bands of frequency control and you can solo each band as well. The advanced limiter is good for avoiding overshoots. I'm using the minus 0.1 dB setting. By watching the horizontal white line on the visualizer, you can gauge the level in dBFS, and it looks to be around minus 10. If you want to adjust the EQ, there's a four band master EQ. Right clicking on any of the knobs will open the plugin interface for graphical editing. There's also the FFT real time EQ if you need finer control over the frequencies. Below that is a multiband stereo enhancer. Activating the multiband option splits the signal into three adjustable frequencies. You can then solo the individual bands and widen or narrow the stereo image for that bandwidth. Although this plugin does need to be applied with discretion. There's also a room simulator convolution reverb, and at the top, a dehisser. Not forgetting the vocoder, in case you get the urge to use that on your mix. Sounds quite interesting. There's even an option for side chaining if you feel so inclined. So that covers the Master FX rack. Naturally, you can add your favourite VST plugins from the plugin slots at the top. Including the legendary Magic's Ammunition plugin.